we need to look at another Zener regulator with a load on it. So we're going to start out with our typical Zener circuit here. It's 15 volts, 500 ohms. We're going to put a load on this that is variable because we want to figure out um, what, how this load will uh, take the Zener out of conduction. So this is a 5k ohm uh, potentiometer. And this is RL. Call this one RS and this one is Zener. So voltage of the Zener is equal to 10 volts in this case. Um, which means I'll have it will require at least 10 volts at this point here from this voltage fighter here to here that will cause this Zener to get into conduction. Remember the Zener curve here. At In this case, this one would be 10 volts, reverse bias. Okay, and minus current negative current. Uh, reverse bias current here. Okay. If you don't have, if you're operating anywhere in here, the Zener will not conduct. So if the voltage between the 500 and the 5k ohm are not uh, at least 10 volts, the Zener will not conduct and it will not regulate. So so let's look at this. Uh, worst case uh, uh, current through this circuit would be like this. Okay, when the Zener is conducting, you will split the current here at this point through the uh, RL and the Zener. Uh, when it is not conducting, you will just have current. All the current here goes through the potentiometer. So let's look at it. If um, at 5k, when the pot's at 5k, we have uh, voltage of source times uh, uh, RL over RL plus RS is equal to uh, 5k ohms over 5.5k ohms times 15 volts is equal to 13.63 volts. Um, how about at 500 when RS and RL? At this point, the 13.63 would be here except for the Zener we would be past this curve here, so the Zener would be in conduction and the Zener uh, would have current through it this way. Yeah, it would split the current, the Zener would be at 10 volts, RL would be at 10 volts. Uh, at 500 ohms, uh, we have VS times RL over RL plus RS is equal to 500 over 500 plus 500 um, times 15 volts is equal to uh, let's see that is one half times 15 is 7.5 volts so we would be operating somewhere in this range and the Zener would not be in conduction. There would be no current through the Zener and all the current would go through RS and through RL. Um, not near enough. How do we figure out what uh, RL should be? Excuse me, RL should be for the Zener to just start to conduct. Well, if the Zener conducts at 10 volts, then that's pretty much our answer. So we should have some relationship here of, uh, uh, of RS uh, plus RL, uh, RL times VS.
should equal 10 volts. Um, using algebra, you can figure that out to where um, RL is equal to 2 times RS, and so RL should equal 1K ohm. Uh, let's give that a try and see what happens. plus RL times voltage of the source should equal 10 volts. So if we have uh, 1K ohm over 1.5K ohm times 15 volts is equal to 10 volts. So that works. That means that basically all the current going through here would still go through here and we'd still have 10 volts at the Zener junction. The Zener would be in this phase right here, right at the knee, where it would it would just be starting to conduct. So anything over 1k ohm uh, on the potentiometer here will yield a voltage that is higher here which will cause the zener to conduct and will cause a um, the zener to start regulating voltage across RL. So if RL is 2K ohm, let's go back up to here and look at this. We have Vs times uh, RL over RS plus RL is equal to um, 15 volts times uh, 2 k ohm to over 2.5 k ohm uh, is equal to uh, 12 volt. We have uh, that would be out here in this range here, so the zener would start to conduct. It would regulate the voltage here down to 10 volts. Uh, what would the currents look like? So if we have uh, 15 volts minus 10 volts divided by 500 ohm is equal to uh, 5 volts over 500 ohm is equal to 10 milliamps. How much of that current goes through RL if it's 2K ohm? So we have 10 volts across RL over 2K ohm. That's equal to it's equal to five milliamps. Um, so what we have here is ten milliamps this way, and we have. 5 milliamps that way. So where does that extra 5 milliamps go? Well, the Zener would have a IZ is equal to IRS minus IRL is equal to 5 milliamps.